Hello everyone, and welcome to From Ring to Revenue, the Wedding Entrepreneur Academy. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. We are wedding entrepreneurs ourselves and want to give back to the community. Stay tuned for a lot of content coming up, including a course on building your wedding business. Today, we are going to talk about our top five tips to running a successful wedding business. So let's get started. Tip number one, building a strong brand. Building a strong wedding brand for any market requires careful planning and attention to detail. To create a successful brand, you must first establish a clear vision of what you want to offer and what sets you apart from other wedding vendors. Here are some steps to help you build a strong wedding brand. Step number one, you need to define your brand identity. Your brand identity should reflect your unique style, values, and your approach to a wedding. Think about the type of weddings you want to specialize in and consider the types of clients you want to attract. Once you have a clear vision of your brand identity, create a brand name, logo, and website that reflects your vision and value. Step number two, develop a signature style. So a strong wedding brand should have a signature style that sets it apart. This could be anything from a specific color palette to a particular design aesthetic to a unique way of working with clients. Whatever your signature style is, make sure it is consistent across all of your marketing materials and client experiences. Step number three, create a portfolio of high quality work. To attract luxury clients, you're gonna need to demonstrate your ability to create exceptional weddings. Build a portfolio of your best work that showcases your signature style and attention to detail. Include high quality photographs and detailed descriptions of each wedding. Step number four, create a strong online presence. Strong online presence is essential for any wedding brand. Develop a website that showcases your work, your brand identity, and your values. Maintain active social media accounts that highlight your latest work and interact with all of your followers. In short, building a strong wedding brand for your market requires a clear vision, a signature style, high quality work, relationships with other vendors, and a strong online presence. Tip number two, knowing your target couple. As a wedding vendor, it is important to find your target couple to ensure that you are reaching the right clients and building a successful business. Here are some steps to help you find that target couple. Step number one, understand your niche. Determine what type of wedding vendor you are and what your specialty is. Are you a florist who specializes in rustic weddings or a photographer who loves capturing intimate elopement? By understanding your niche, you can identify the couples who will be most interested in your services. Step number two, Two, analyze your past client. Look at your past clients and identify any commonalities. Do they all have a similar style or budget? Were they mostly local or from out of town? Understanding who your past clients are can help you identify your target couple. Step number three, research your local market. Look at the wedding market in your area and identify any gaps that you can fill. For example, if you notice that there are no florists in your area specializing in sustainable weddings, you can position yourself as the go-to vendor for eco-friendly couples. Step number four, use social media. Social media is a powerful tool for finding your target couple. Use hashtags to identify couples who are interested in your niche and engage with them by commenting on their posts and sharing your own content. By following these simple steps, you can find your target couple in the wedding industry and build a successful business that caters to their needs and preferences. Remember that finding your target couple is an ongoing process and it's important to continually analyze your market and adjust your approach as needed. Tip number three, finances. Starting a wedding business can be an exciting and rewarding endeavor. It also comes with the financial challenges that can be overwhelming if not properly addressed. Trust me, I know. Here are is some strong financial advice for your business that can help you manage your finances effectively. Create a budget. A budget is a critical tool for managing your finances. It helps you track your expenses and plan for future expenditures. To create a budget, start by tracking all of your expenses for a few months, then create a spreadsheet that details your monthly income and expenses. Make sure to include both fixed and variable expenses and review your budget regularly to make adjustments as needed. Step number two, separate business and personal finances. It's essential to keep your business and personal finances 
separate. This means opening a business bank account and credit cards and using them exclusively for business expenses. By keeping your finances separate, you'll have a clear understanding of your business's financial health and it'll help you avoid any tax or legal issues. Step number three, stay on top of your taxes. Taxes are a crucial aspect of small business finances. Make sure to understand the tax requirements for your business, including income tax, sales tax, and any other taxes specific to your industry. Keep accurate records and hire a professional accountant or a tax advisor if necessary, because I'm not one. Step number four, monitor your cash flow. You have got to know your numbers. Cash flow is the lifeblood of your business. It's essential to monitor your cash flow regularly to ensure that you have enough cash on hand to cover expenses and invest in growth opportunities. Keep an eye on your accounts receivable and payables and consider implementing a cash flow forecasting tool to project your future cash flows. We will be making a tool for the users of our course. Step number five, control your costs. We learned this the hard way way, but it was healthy for us to reevaluate what and why we were spending our money on. Controlling your costs is critical to the success of your business. Look for ways to cut expenses without sacrificing quality, such as negotiating better rates with vendors, buying in bulk, or finding more affordable alternatives. Always keep an eye on your expenses to avoid overspending and ensure that your business stays profitable. In conclusion, managing your finances is a crucial aspect of running a successful small business. By creating a budget, separating your finances, staying on top of your taxes, monitoring your cash flow, and controlling your costs, you'll be well on your way to financial stability and long-term success. But remember, this is also an ongoing process, so it's essential to review and adjust your strategies regularly to ensure that you're making the most of your resources. Tip number four, networking. This is my favorite tip. Effective networking is an essential aspect of success in the wedding industry. By building relationships with other wedding professionals and vendors, you can expand your reach, gain valuable insights, and create new business opportunities. Let's cover some steps for effective networking in our industry. Step number one, attend industry events. Industry events such as conferences and networking events provide a great opportunity to meet other wedding professionals and vendors. Attend these events regularly and be sure to bring plenty of business cards and QR codes to share with potential contacts. Think Engage Summit style event. Step number two, Join industry organizations. Joining industry organizations such as the National Association of Catering and Events, ILEA, or WIPA can help you connect with other professionals and gain access to resources and training opportunities. Step number three, utilize social media. Social media is a powerful tool for networking in the wedding industry. Follow other wedding professionals on social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and engage with them by commenting on their posts and sharing your own content regularly. Step number four, participate in styled shoot. Participating in styled shoots can be an excellent way to meet other other wedding professionals and showcase your work. Collaborate with other vendors on a styled shoot and be sure to share the photos and videos on social media to attract potential clients to build your brand. Step number five, follow up and maintain those relationships. Networking is not simply about making initial connections, but also about maintaining them. Follow up with people that you meet and stay in touch regularly by email or social media. Offer your services to help them with their projects and be a resource for them. Effective networking is a crucial aspect of success in the wedding industry. By attending industry events, joining industry organizations, utilizing social media, participating in style shoots, and following up with your contacts, you can build relationships and create new business opportunities. Remember that networking is an ongoing process. Make sure to continue to expand your network and maintain those relationships. With dedication and effort, your networking efforts will pay off in the long run. Our last and final tip, tip number five, you gotta stay motivated. As a small business owner in the wedding industry, it can be challenging to stay motivated, especially when faced with the ups and downs of running a business. Here are some steps we have for staying motivated as a small business owner. Step number one, you need to set goals. Setting clear goals for your business is essential for staying motivated. Identify both short and long-term goals and create a plan for achieving them. Make sure to track your progress regularly 
and celebrate your accomplishments along the way. We will dive much deeper into this in our course. Step number two, find inspiration. Surround yourself with inspiration by following wedding industry leaders and influencers, attending industry events, collaborating with other wedding professionals. These can all help you stay motivated and creative and give you new ideas for your business. Step number four, you gotta take a break. As a small business owner, it can be tempting to work around the clock. Don't do that. Taking breaks are essential for staying motivated and avoiding burnout. Make time for self-care and take breaks to recharge your batteries and maintain a healthy work-life balance. Step number five, keep learning. Continuing to learn and develop your skills is crucial for staying motivated and growing your business. Attend workshops, take courses, and stay up to date with the latest trends and developments in the wedding industry. Step number six, stay organized. Staying organized is essential for staying motivated and productive. Keep track of your tasks and deadlines and create a system for managing your time and resources. This can really help you avoid feeling overwhelmed and it'll help you stay focused on your goals. Step number seven, you got to stay positive. It is essential to stay positive and maintain a healthy mindset. I know this can be challenging when faced with setbacks and challenges, but it's important to focus on the positive aspects of your business and maintain a real can-do attitude. Staying motivated as a small business owner in the wedding industry can be challenging, but it's essential for success by setting goals, finding inspiration, taking breaks, continuing to learn, staying organized, and staying positive, you can stay motivated and focused on your business. So there you have it, our top five tips to running a successful wedding business. If you want this in a doc file, click the link below to sign up for our emails and get the free guide. Also, you'll stay up to date on other training resources we're gonna push out, including our upcoming course. We will see everyone in the next video.